Hey guys, it's Jen Meyer. I am trying to come live. It's been a long time. Um, but I have been putting together some of my um my craft with heart scrapbooking kits, and I am down to my last one. Oh, my kids are outside the door being loud. They're going outside. So I thought I would also just try to do the last one um, live with you guys so that you guys could see. Hey, Carol. So you guys can see how easily these go together, okay? So this is the subscription kit. You can buy them one month at a time. Um, I think they're... Uh, don't quote me, but I think they're like $17.95 plus shipping, or you can buy them um, in a four months at a time, or if you buy the annual, um, hey Carol, if you buy the annual plan, then it's like $172 and free shipping, um, and they'll ship to you in four months at a time. So right now I have January, February, March, and I have not put together April, so I thought I would just sit here and put together April with you guys. Um, I'm trying to get it to show here so I can see but I don't know if that's going to work. So, all right. In any case, we will just go with, all right. So here's January. All you need to put this together is some adhesive. And then if you like some, some foam tape, if you want some dimension, okay. If you don't want that, then you don't need to worry about it. Um, all right. So here's the January kit. You will make four pages per month, so two two two-page layouts. So it comes in a Ziploc bag. You'll see when we get to April, and then this is the layout, the the cover of it, and then this these are the four pages that you'll do. So as you'll see, what I usually do when I get this is I just fold this in half, and then I set this up here, or I set this to the side, and then you'll take your die cut sheets and your sticker sheets, and you're just going to assemble your pages. And all you need, as I said, is some adhesive. Some of these are stickers. Some of these are paper. Um, you will get photo placeholders for every single place there's supposed to be a photo. Sometimes I put them in. Sometimes I don't. And that's fine. Um, and you'll, you've learned, I've learned a lot of techniques about how not putting glue underneath here. Then I can slide my photo behind there. So um, I'm going to show you what the January, February, and March layouts were, and then I'm going to just sit and do the April one and chatter away, and you guys can see how fast they go. So this is the first two pages of January. There is this, supposed to be another chevron here. I have not put it on because it's a sticker, and I haven't put the photo in yet. So this one, some of these were paper, some were stickers. So the last one that's supposed to go here is a sticker, so I'll wait and put it on once I have my photo. So these are the first two pages for January. And then these are the next two pages. So those were those. Now we're gonna look at this one. So this is the second spread for January. And this one, to be honest with you, if you look at the, the layout, see how it was supposed to come down here over the photo? But because I didn't have the photo ready, I just flipped it up that way and then I'll put my photo in. Now, some people like to glue their page, their their photo placeholders down permanently and draw a little line around them sometimes and just trim their photos a little bit smaller so they have a white border all together. Otherwise they, um, or you, you can just come back and take these off and put your photos down. These I've just tacked down with a little bit of tape. So yeah, isn't it cute, Carol? I really do like this one. And then once I put my photos on, I will probably go through and maybe add some rhinestones or things like that for my embellishments just to kind of give it that final little look. But here's the second two pages from January, all right? February. Um, oh, I already know the photos that I'm going to use on one of these. They're of my daughter and her friends at the beach with sunset. It was really pretty. So here were the first two from February, which has got this adorable plaid. And on these, I actually didn't put the placeholders in. So you'll see, I just kind of glued down either side and I'll slide my photo in there. Same with over here. So this was the first two pages for February which I really liked the plaid. I liked, you know, some of this was sticker. This was already printed like this, so you didn't have to cut or trim anything. It was great. And then these are perfect for these sunset pictures that I have. They show it with the baby, but I'm gonna use some pictures of my daughter and her friends from the summertime. Um, and I know that those pictures already have this very similar look and feel. So I think they'll be perfect on this layout. And again, these were some die cuts, some stickers, this I did raise up on foam tape, so you can 
maybe see that there it's got a little bit of dimension to it and then again I might add some little bling or pearls as I finalize these pages all right March four pages in March were this really fun bright set here with a little bit of a St. Patrick's Day theme to it and then this other one which is a little bit more um, muted um, pretty gender neutral really and just kind of a day by day so a lot of these titles are very neutral you can use them for a lot of things and if you didn't like that title you just wouldn't have to put that on there so that's that so I really did like this set here I, I loved the scallop you added to these these are photo placeholders again I didn't put the photos in but there'll be photos there this is the other side let me see if I can grab it and again, I popped this, the headline up here on some foam tape. It's just a little bit of a dimension there. And then there's no tape behind these, so it'll allow the photo to slide down in there. So this I thought was super fun and springy. And then the second layout for March was this one here. And you, know, and you can use these. You can put them in your scrapbook whichever way you like. So I really liked the detail on this little uh, notebook edge. And the photo corners so yeah all right so let's sit down and you guys are gonna, i'm gonna sit down now i'm gonna take a little sip of diet coke and we're gonna do april together so it's gonna come each month comes in its own little ziploc bag it comes with your page protectors the close to my heart page protectors are fantastic they are really super durable very crystal clear so and here is everything that you get. I'm going to pull these page protectors and just put them aside because you won't need those right now. And they're just a lot of glare. So again, here's our cover page. Here's our instructions. I'm going to fold them in half so I can just kind of work with the first layout. And then we'll do the second layout. So I'm just going to kind of pop that over here. Here's our photo placeholders. Sometimes, you now if you see, if you get one of these and there's no wording on it, then that means it's a photo mat. Sometimes they're white, sometimes they're blue or pink, if you know, depending on the layout. Um, but don't don't uh, understand the labeling because if you go and you glue this down just a little bit and you realize there's supposed to be a larger piece, which would probably be five and a quarter by seven and a quarter, then that's actually a photo mat. All right, so placeholders aside, and then on your sticker sheet, it's going to show you exactly. These are the stickers for layout one. This one, these are the stickers for layout two, all right? And again, on your die cuts, these are your layout one die cuts here, and then these are all the ones that you'll use on layout, the line here on layout two. So let's just pull these, punch these out so we have them ready. Again, these are for the cut above. They are very well cut, just tiny little chads. I never even really have to trim off anything on these they really do come apart very cleanly. So I'm just gonna pull these apart and have them ready. And then we just kind of, so sometimes it'll tell you little things, uh, like helpful hints if you need to do one step before the other. This one just says to gather the layout base pages, die cuts, stickers, and photo mat. You're gonna attach the floral rectangles to both pages and then attach the photo mats. So let's just kind of put everything in one little pile. I love these colors on this. Very bright, very cheery. And you'll see some months, they're very different. It's not the same colors in both months. Um, then you can go through your stash if you need to do more than the two pages, you can add on. You can also add flip flaps to these to get more photos on if you need to add more photos or more journaling. Don't forget about your flip flap options. Those can go right on top of your page or they can go on top of your page protector. Um, all right, journaling box, a little pennant here, and just a couple more flowers. So there we go. Here are all of our die cuts for the first layout. So the only thing that we have left for our second layout will be this here, all right? So we can get rid of that. I'm gonna put this aside because it's for our next layout. And let's, I'm gonna sit down now, I'm standing up, let's see. All right. So this is our left-hand page going by our picture. 
Oh, and here's our photo mats. We have some colored photo mats. And then this, these are the base papers for our next layout here, these. So we'll put these aside, work on those next. All right, here's our stickers. Let's look at our picture. We need this nice big one here. And it looks like this is the journaling box for the other side over there. Looks like these yellow ones must go on the other page. All right, so uh, adhere the floral die cut rectangles to both pages. So see how we have these four here? Looks like they're gonna go on the top of each of these sort of columns. So we'll let's go ahead and do that. And we'll probably do this one next. All right, adhesive, 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 here we go. So yeah, that's the beauty of these is you can grab these and as long as you have some adhesive with you, you can sit at a basketball game or a soccer game, not that anybody's going to those these days, and you'll have everything that you need to put together some base pages. You'll know what photo sizes you need to print. So this is telling us it should be about two inches away. And we'll adhere that. And, oh gosh, what did I just do with those? Oh, they're right here. Upside down. All right. And line these up kind of at the bottom. Making sure I can see what I'm doing. All right, I still can't see you guys. So if you're asking questions, I'm very sorry. I'll have to get back to them. Every time I think I know how to set this up so I can watch and video, it doesn't work. So probably have to just start doing some practice ones and you guys can uh, see me fumble around even more. All right, and we're going to put these on this page. It looks like it's about an inch or so off. Oh, you can see my iPad, which isn't working anyways. All right, let's see. This is looking to be about an inch or so in from there. And I'm trying to line that up without standing up to see it. All right, and again, I'm not gonna rush. I'm just gonna show you, like this is legitimate how much time it takes to do these. I sat upstairs this last week, and not even at a craft table, just at my little desk in my bedroom and put together all those other pages while I was watching TV. All right, so looks like we have over here our pink matting piece. So this will go here. And this says it's about three and a half inches down by one and a half inches in. So I always kind of eyeball it. If you had your close to my heart, like Matt, that would really help you as well. Oh, I'm putting it on the wrong page. Oops, oops, oops. Back over here. All right. So three and a half inches down and one and a half inches in. So we're going to assume that's right around there. All right. And we are gonna add a couple of stickers, it looks like, or what are they? Nope, they are. We need this there, and this one is a sticker. This little uh, tag journal looks to be going right about there. And maybe we'll pop this guy up on some foam tape. So my very, very favorite close to my heart product of all time, talk about it all the time, are these non-stick microchip scissors. If you buy nothing else, I think you need these because they're just fantastic. And it looks like I can throw another little thin piece there to really make sure this is supported and stabilized. But um, yeah, I, I've done Craft With Heart, uh, the card making and the uh, scrapbooking subscription for over a year. The scrapbooking subscription is my favorite. I think it's because I find it really helpful to knock out some layouts and then get myself going on some other ones if I need them. Uh, but both of them are, are, are great. All right, so now this, so see how this is gonna lay over our photo? And we don't have our photo printed yet because, you know, I'm definitely not that organized. And here is our 5 by 7 photo holder. I'm just going to put a tiny dab right in the middle. This is going to tell me and remind me this is the size of photo that I need to get printed for this page. 
And if you didn't want to, and you had two, you know, three by fours or three by fives, you could definitely do that too. But I'm just going to go by what they have. I'm definitely going to pop this up, but I'm going to be careful not to put adhesive down here because I want to leave um, the ability to put it, the photo underneath here. So I'm just going to take some handy dandy foam tape and put some here and here. And I'm going to leave this blank here on the bottom, at least for now. You can always attach it a little more firmly once you have your photo in place. But um, that's the thing is this subscription kit has really kind of taught me how to pre-build pages, whether it's in a kit or if it's just from elements that I have from maybe a workshop your way or, or, or a paper packet and be able to come back and uh, still be able to put my photos and things on. All right, so we have this sweet memories lined up like that. Looks like we need a yellow heart here. It's probably one of our die cuts. I hope you guys can still see these. I have them kind of popped up here. So here we go, a yellow heart. Let's just put a touch of adhesive on that. I love how you still get that layered effect with about half the amount of time. And then this heart, I am actually going to pop that up too a little bit on some foam tape. Go for a little bit thinner size and still get that dimension. And you, know, you don't have to follow their layouts exactly. You certainly can. You can kind of go rogue and do what you like. I do tend to come back and add some glitter and gemstones later, sometimes some uh, paint splatters if you like that effect. Uh, it really depends on what the layout is and what my photos kind of, you know, if it's going to get too busy then I don't bother. All right, so that's going to kind of go there. And all right, our photo cluster down here. So once you kind of learn how to do these, they, they kind of become addictive. All right, so we're going to follow this here. I kind of lay it out and then I start figuring out where my adhesive goes because again, you don't want to stick stuff down to this when you need to still slide your photo in. Um, looks like these are going to go on this side. So that one's going to go on this side. This one goes on that page. This one's going to go here, here, and then we're looking for leaves that have this pattern on it. So these will be stickers. All right, so we'll kind of lay this out. This looks, oh, this is going to go on the other side. Kind of lay this out like this. So, and then start with our leaf stickers. These are really nice, thick, almost chipboard, not chipboard, but definitely like, like a heavy cardstock sticker. So let's see if you guys can see just this layout here. We're kind of looking to put one about there. And let's see right around, maybe not quite that far down, right around there. And then let's pop up this one. Again, kind of being careful to keep our adhesive towards the bottom of the flower. But we definitely want to make this substantial. This is a pretty big flower. You're going to need some definite support under there. And then this one looks like we just need to adhere it flat, but we won't put any adhesive where it's going to overlap that flower. I'm sorry, overlap the photo. So maybe just right around there. So this is all unadhesive. I can slide my picture there. Let's put our pink flower down. I don't know how you guys are feeling, but I'm trying to stay on top of things for 2021. I don't want to get too far behind in terms of uh, memory documenting. And should we pop it up or leave it flat? I actually might leave it flat. So, oh, and it looks like we need to find another leaf for over there. So it looks like a sticker. So I'm just going to lay that and then grab this other sticker for here. So before we stick it all down. All right. 
one page done. How easy was that? So yeah, if you had some little gemstones, you could feel free to go in and add those. But here we are, page one of our first layout is ready to go. I'm gonna slide that over here. And we're gonna work over here. So we need, this is gonna pop up here. We need our journaling card, that pink. And then this is a three by four, three by four, three by four, three by four, three by four. So you can put a tiny dollop of adhesive on these. So our placeholders are two-sided. So if you had a three by four photo going landscape, you'd use the side and portrait the side. So these look like they are gonna butt right up. No, they're gonna leave. See, we have a little bit of a border. It looks like about a quarter of an inch. So let's glue this baby down first and then we'll work our square off of that, okay? So this is our pre-printed journaling card that came on our die sheet. And if you didn't want it there, you could feel free to put it someplace else in that, that uh, layout if you wanted to. So I'm gonna do it just like so. And then on these, I am, because I might just not want to have a border on these, I am just going to put a tiny bit of adhesive in the middle, just so I know. And um, I'll keep this going here so you guys can see that. I have a child at the... Oh, they went away. Okay. And we're going to finish putting these on so you can see. So this photo spread will have five nice size photos, something that tells a story, which is good. Oops, I did this on the wrong side. We'll get over that. And here are our little holders for everything that we need. And now, okay, so, ooh, am I prepared? I don't know that I am to show you something. Um, there is a way that you could take the sticky off of these. So let's, let's keep going and then I will come back to that. All right, so we're looking for these two kind of darker greens. Those will be these stickers here. And then maybe we'll pop up that nice yellow flower on some foam. So this is just gonna kind of go on either side like that. This has got just a tiny little spot for some 3D foam tape, but we'll do that. Pop this up here. And if you wanted to curl these up, you could do that. I kind of like to leave mine flat. So here is our yellow flower. And then we've got a couple little sticker flowers here. So we'll pull those right off our sheet. Again, they're nice and thick. So that one's going to go there. And this one's going to go there. And we've got a few more flowers across the top. So we'll do those. A light pink and a yellow and now this one is touching and I don't know if I have my tool right here but what you do is you take an anti-static pouch and you're going to take the sticky off the back um and of course I was not that prepared oh it's right here so if you guys have an embossing buddy or an anti-static pouch that is how you take the sticky off so if you look at this flower here Part of it is touching the photo, but we don't have our photo down. So we take our little anti-static and we're gonna take off part of the sticky. So I'm gonna put this down and then now I can still slide. This is not sticky anymore underneath there. All right, that's especially important for this flower here. All right, so because we are still going to have to put our photos here we're gonna take this really big sticker carefully because it's got some delicate little uh, edges on these berries and leaves. All right, we're gonna pull this up. And I'm gonna take the sticky off a large portion of this side of the flower because we do not, we still wanna be able to put our photographs in here. So a couple of taps with that, a couple of taps here. And you can still glue it down on top of those photos once you have those photos in, uh, in place. But again, we are trying to get this ready to go so that we don't have, 
to do a lot of work when we have our photos ready. So this looks to be positioned right around here. There we go. So now our photos are not sticky. Our sticker is not sticky here. We're still going to be able to slide in our picture. All right, what other things do we have down here? Looks like we have this leaf, this flower, and some flower stickers, it looks like. A little journaling tab here. Um, and some more stickers. So layering those up. Let's start with this one. So that's going to go right around there. I'm going to take the sticky off of one half of this so that it's ready. All right, I can still slide my, my things in there. I'm going to pop this baby up on some foam. Give it a little more dimension on this side of the page. And again, I'm going to be careful to kind of keep my foam to this side to allow that corner to still have some maneuverability when I get that um, those photos in place. All right. Take this off. So we are halfway through the month of January, and I have not printed photos yet. How about you guys? I did see that Costco is closing their photo centers for printing. Um, let's see. Fit this in here. I'm gonna put this there. Our sticker. I'm gonna take off the sticky on that very top little bit because I want to be able to keep my. Uh, oh, we might have to do it a little bit more. Journaling spot there. All right. And a sticker here of some beautiful yellow berries. I love how when you look at all of these stickers, the, the once you put them all together, like I wouldn't really know how to put all these together, but following these pictures, it gives it so much more life and dimension than I would normally expect. I'm going to tuck that in there and stick over. Okay, we have used all of our stickers from this. So I think we are ready for the second layout. So here we go. This was what we just did, these two pages here. Looks pretty awesome, except for, you know, when I put my photo placeholders in upside down or sideways, we still have some dimension. We are, have the ability to go back in and slide our photos in. Alrighty, so base pages for number two are right here. We are flipping over, so it looks like we're keeping this to the top. Journaling lines are going over here on this right, left side, or I'm sorry, the right side, so let's start with the left side. You are my shining star. So we have, here's all of our stickers. It looks like we have a lot of border stickers to do on these pages. And here are our die cuts. So let's quickly punch those out so they are ready. I like the colors in this, like a, Really fun lemon yellow and a pale, looks probably like close to our color glacier or like a minty blue almost. I like when the work is done for you. You know, sometimes you just need that break. You don't need to be able to create that whole layout in your head. Sometimes it's nice and literally 20 years from now, five years from now, a year from now, nobody is going to know that you did not come up with this all on your own. So there's all of our die cuts for layout two. Okay, let's start with, let's do our borders, all right? And I actually might do the borders for both pages. And I'm going to actually flip them around so they're a little bit closer to me. Always better to keep, when you're trying to line things up, keep it a little bit closer to you. So hopefully you can all still see this. Um, so we're putting this uh, plaid sticker down first. That's what this one is here. I'm trying to see. Yes, attach the sticker strips to both pages. It looks like we have more sticker strips here. Interesting. Oh, I see. They go there. All right, so we're starting with our gingham, and I'm gonna pull one of these out so I can see. All right, hopefully you guys can see this too. I'm gonna line this up on the edge and then on the bottom, 
Again, you want to be able to see this. Don't try to do this like at the top of your page. Flip your page over so that you can see. There we go. Nice and lined up. And then we have a little black. This other strip here, which is like the black with the little pennant flags. And that's going to go with the black side up against the yellow. And these are so nice and thick that once you get it lined up on the one edge, you can just run your thumb along and it's going to perfectly butt that up there. All right, I'm gonna do my other side too, just so they are ready to go. So our gingham, oops, kinda get it lined up here on the edge and on the bottom, oops. And there we go. And then our little strip here with the pennants and the black dots. Using your finger, oops, lining that up. Perfection. All right, so we've got our, our borders adhered. This one has a border over here and I don't see the other one over here. So that's interesting. I wonder if they forgot to do it. So I'm going to put that on this one here. It looks like it goes right at the very bottom of this black strip. Voila. And I don't see it on this side, but I'm gonna add it because I don't know where else that would go, right? Maybe we found a little faux pas in this kit. Highly unlikely, but who knows. All right, so I'm gonna add this here. So then you're saying, well, why did they just print it this way? Well, first of all, everybody loves the layering. And second of all, you know, if you didn't want to do this like I'm doing, then you didn't have to do it that way. All righty. Okay, so now we have all of our pages ready. So this is our left, we're gonna go back to this side. And it looks like we have a four by six photo in here, must be. That's what we have left in terms of photo placeholders. So I'm just gonna put a tiny little dollop there and it is gonna go right about there. And we have a burst of yellow. Let's pop that up because why not? Oh, looking for my tape. Do you guys like foam squares or foam tape? I have usually been a foam square person, but I am finding that this tape does go a little bit faster, a little bit quicker, especially when you're doing larger elements and anything that's like, you know, not just kind of like a petite flower or anything like that. So I think I'm a convert to this tape situation. And I'll put this up here so we can still slide our photo underneath it. Oops, might have to do it more like that. And we need a minty one. It looks like it's got a little border to it. Yes, this one here. And of course, let's foam tape it up. I hope this is not getting too long for you guys. I'm not really rushing, but I also kind of realize it's a little bit boring to sit and watch. So there's that. And then now we have, it looks like some sticker work to do. All right. So you are my, we're gonna add that right underneath our border. And then we get to play with letter stickers. Everybody has a love-hate relationship with letter stickers, correct? All right, so we're gonna try to piece these out as best as we can. I love little stars for the eyes before I stick them down. That's my secret to uh, letter stickers if you are really wanting to know. So I'm just gonna kinda very gently 
space them out, try to keeping them very level, realizing I don't have the eye attached, so we're gonna have to come back and do that. And then you wanna stand up. Don't trust yourself sitting down because it'll never look straight. You wanna stand up and look at it straight down um, to make sure you have them level. I guess if I was a perfectionist, I would be really smart and put some washi down or something that would maybe give me a temporary line to, uh, and remember we're gonna have to add a few things over here. Let's see, here's our G. You guys tell me if that looks level. I'm gonna stand up. I think we're going downhill. So, because we were very smart and we did not actually stick those all the way down, I'm gonna stand up and very carefully just kind of try to make them not cattywonker. And then I'm gonna show you the ultimate tool for putting down these stickers. Something you probably don't have, um, but I, again, I highly recommend having this particular tool because it can be your hands without getting your fingerprints or, um, or things like that all over your page. Um, so I'm gonna try that. And then because this has got a really large sticker row down below, I also wanna put down these to make sure I have enough space. So let's start with these two and make sure we have enough space to kind of, looks like we're good. And this, I guess these S's are a little bit more lined up than I initially had them. So once we kind of get all of this spaced out, again, not fully adhering anything down because you don't want to have to try to pick those up if they're not exactly where you want them. And having two different size fonts here, you know, is also kind of gives you a little bit more trickiness. All right. I actually think I did a fairly decent job in this bottom row. And then we'll add our little stars in. Okay, so here's my secret weapon. A brayer. I know, it's so old school. People used to use this for ink. But I am going to go and roll these down gently at first all right this one could be a little bit less wonky all right i kind of now i'm committing commit to the stick roll 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 all righty let's add our final couple of dots on our lettering which go there and there. And it looks like we have some cute little uh, triangles in gray. Who would, who would think of that? Not me. All right, I'm gonna add a couple of these. Oops. Tiny baby one, looks like. And a star on some 3D tape. And I think we are done with our left hand page. Nope, we got some yellow little triangles to add over here. So on our sticker sheet, we'll grab those and we're gonna use all three of them, yes. Just down here in the corner. It's amazing how these little things just add those finishing touches to a page. All right. I think we're good on this side. So we're gonna take our extra little pieces. All right, move over to our right hand page. So we have some over here, but we actually have, oh, you know what I forgot guys? On this page over here, it does look like we have one of those photo mats. So I will have to go back and put that down. And on this page, we have three photo mats here. And I kind of bent them. I was leaning on them on my on my table. So 
Let's put those down first. And put our sticker sheet out of our way. All right. And I might not just put the photo placeholders on this because this is pretty easy for me to remember that I need three photos that are gonna be matted and go here. All right, let's put our first one nice and centered. Oops, sticking to me, sticking to me. And they're telling me that these are about five eighths of an inch apart. That's the measurement it's giving me. So if you don't trust your eyeballs, you could get out your handy ruler and do that. And here's our last one there. So we have our three photos. Looks like we need some little accoutrements down here. So let's finish off that sticker sheet. Um, all right. First, we need a star, which is kind of going there. And again, this looks a little different because I put this sticker here and they didn't have that there. Looks like we have some more of those awesome little triangles. So we'll finish up our gray triangles. And a blue star. And a black star is gonna go down here. I'll probably put that on some foam tape. We've got a printed yellow star there. We have our last die cut star here and a couple little blue triangles down in this corner here. So we'll do those. Looks like I have four left. So maybe I'll just add them all and be done with that. And it also looks like, oh, I was, I do have a little journaling tag. Hold on. Oh, I should really have used a pickup stick for these. They're very tiny. Um, all right, a sticker that goes over here. All right, so we are done. Oh, we have one more black sticker. Let's see where that's gonna go. Um, oh, down here by this one. And then this little tag goes here. I'll line that right up. And let's put some foam underneath these. And, oh, we still need our foam up at the top. So, if you guys are curious about these, go ahead and order. Some people don't like all the months. They um, are particular about you know, that some of the designs, um, so you can pick and choose. I am more concerned about the cost, so I just go ahead and do the annual subscription. Um, I'm pretty confident I would use almost all of these, but again, if you don't have kids or if you, you know, if there's certain ones that just really don't apply to you, then maybe you do want to buy them month to month. I just like to not have to think about it. It ships to my house three times a year, four months at a time. Um, I save a little bit of money by buying it all together at once. Um, and then you get the free shipping. So that's kind of the appeal for me. All right, there's that. And our little black star. Hope you guys can see this okay. Try to be careful. There is a little printed yellow star there. So try not to cover that up. And our last, let's see, star up here. Oh, it looks like we do have a couple of little stars left over. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be one over here, one over there, okay. And again, these scissors, I can't tell you how much I love them, they're so awesome. I've tried them all. I've tried Fiskars, I've tried Tim Holtz, I've tried Cutter Bee, I've tried, I, I just love these. Um, I, they are a workhorse. I have used them consistently for well over a year. I thought about buying another set. Um, we had a little sale on them during, I think, the Black Friday sale. But I decided I just, I'm going to try to be good and keep one pair of scissors and not lose them. And uh, so far, so good. Okay. Well, I think we have these other two miscellaneous stars. I don't, oh, this other gray one is supposed to go on the other page. So we'll go back and pop him on the other page. And our last little one. 
My little black one goes here. And I'll just give you guys a quick look at both of these one last time. Kids are trying to get into my room here. I sent them outside. We got a light dusting of snow yesterday. My sisters came over and we did a little snowball fight for my daughter's birthday. And um, the neighbor kids were playing and I said, you have to get out and play a little bit while you can. All right, and this is gonna go up here for this one. So aside from missing, this should have a photo mat here. It's a very light gray. Um, I think we did it. All right, so here is our second spread from our April kit. It will look like that. And here is our first spread, which gosh, these colors are just, can't wait till we have weather that reflects these colors. I think this is stunning. And I know I have lots of jewels and rhinestones and things like that to can dress these pages up with. So anyways, that turned out to be probably longer than any of you wanted, but I just wanted to kind of show you how quick and easy and how detailed these cut above layout kits are for the subscription kit. If you have any questions, of course, you can email me and you can find these in the subscription section of my website, jenmeyer.ctmh.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.